I've got a short vlog for you today. I'm at the base of the Flinders Ranges in a little town called Melrose and I'm about to hike Mount Remarkable. Now Mount Remarkable has some special memories for me so I'm excited for this one but the trail's a long one so I think we better get going. Let's take you along that trail. Now around Melrose and Mount Remarkable, there are a lot of walking trails, including the hike to the summit that I'm doing now. So the hike is 13.8 kilometer return or 15 kilometers, whichever website you look up, uh, but it's said to be a little challenging. Uh, already I can see the trail is quite up and down, uh, lots of little rocks to navigate around. Uh, and they also say that this trail is more about the journey going up and the views going down. There's not a killer view right at the summit. So don't get your hopes up and thinking you're going to get expansive views around the area. Uh, check out the scenery when you're hiking up and you'll enjoy your journey a lot more. Now you're gonna wanna follow the signs to the Monument Trail. That's where I'm heading now. Now I left from Melrose. I parked my van in the city center and I started by the caravan park there and I crossed the swing bridge. Uh, so that's the official start to the trails, but I don't think it's the start to the Mount Remarkable Summit. I think we've got a while to go and I'm puffing already. This one is gonna be a killer. I've been pacing up and down your drive Trying to get the nerve firm that I'm the only one Who you should give of your affection No dogs, no camping, no fires, no drones Tough floors out here on Mount Remarkable But it's all to protect the area and the environment. Oh, I am pulling over because I'm getting so puffed uh, talking and hiking to you guys. So I wanna talk to you about camping so you can hike Mount Remarkable. So there's a few options here in Melrose. There is the Melrose Caravan Park, which is right at the start of all the trails that hike around the area. I'm sure it's got all the amenities you need, uh, powered sites, there's unpowered sites as well. And then there's the Melrose Showgrounds. Now that is two minutes down the road and basic amenities, I've heard there's toilets there and it's $10 per night. And the third option, another two minutes down the road is a free camp just off the side of the road. That's where I chose to camp. I camped there last night. It was pretty quiet uh, and it was a nice area. No amenities there, but I mean, you're only four minutes drive into town if you need the loo or the shops in the morning. I just walked past a sign where the trail was split and there's a northern summit trail and a southern summit trail. I'm walking pretty slow here because it's pretty unstable and the path is really narrow. Uh, so I guess you choose which way you want to go around. Uh, it said 6.5 k's. I'm walking through a lot of spider webs as well. So I think this vlogging and having my camera out, it's catching all the spiders. Uh, um, you have to decide which path you want to take and this trail is a loop so I figured I've chosen the northern trail and I figured if I do that I'm going to go down on the southern trail to get back let's hope that's the case uh, but it says 6.5 k's to the summit that doesn't seem so far uh, but remember that's double because we've got to go back down the other way. I'm stopping for a rest um, <laughs> getting pretty puffed on this hike it's it's a little challenging it's probably the most challenging hike I've done. The path is really narrow and there's so many little rocks around. You really got to keep an eye on your footing. Um, otherwise it's pretty easy to topple over the edge. It's kind of hot as well. It was only supposed to be 19 degrees today. So I didn't think it would be that bad to hike. And this morning when I woke up, it was absolutely freezing. So I started out thinking I was going to wear shorts and because it was so freezing, I've put my tights on. Um, 
I don't know if I made a mistake on that. Some parts is so hot and I wish I had shorts, uh, but other parts, um, the path is really uh, crowded. Um, there's leaves and branches overhanging the path and I'm kind of semi allergic to um, some plants. So I would have, my legs would have got heaps scratched up if, if I was wearing shorts. So maybe it's a good thing I was in, in tights but I've come to a marker um, they've got these markers along the trail which tells you how long you've been hiking and this one here I think it's around about there it says uh, from that sign where I took the detour the north and south it says I've been hiking three kilometers uh, so I don't feel like that's very far it means I've got 3.8 to go to reach the summit um, if I want to get there I think I have to stop filming um, and just focus on the hike and reach the summit. So next time you see me, I'll be at the summit. Before I reach the summit, I wanna give a big shout out to my Merrill hiking boots. No, this is not a sponsored section of my vlog. Uh, it should be a big thank you to my previous company who as a farewell gift gave me a hiking and adventure voucher. So I bought the Merrills with that. As I said before, this hiking trail is quite difficult. The trail is really thin and narrow and there's small rocks everywhere. So you really need good hiking shoes to do this. Previously on my walks, I was walking with my old Nikes and they have seen better days. They are quite worn. The grip has completely gone from the bottom and I was slipping and sliding everywhere on those. So it was time to invest in new boots and I am super thankful I got the Merrells. They're brand new. So that might be actually a no-no to wear brand new boots on a hike like this, but my feet feel really good. And that could be because of a little trick I use when I'm hiking. Um, what I do is I wear two pairs of socks, so a thicker pair on the outside and a thinner pair on the inside, and it just avoids your um, skin rubbing against the shoe. So instead of that, the socks the socks rub against each other, and you avoid all those horrible blisters. So. Um, Fingers crossed, it keeps me going for the rest of the hike. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get onto that summit. You've got Ooh, I could tell by the way you were looking at me, I was found. For you counted down, you watch my every move. Like a pirate finally seeing something. I've been finding every road has led to you Hey, all I've ever wanted Is to play hide and seek Oh, for two I made it to the summit of Mount Remarkable. What a hike, that was quite the journey. Uh, this hike is not for the faint hearted. Uh, some of you um, serial hikers out there must be thinking this is a piece of cake, but I thought it was such a challenge. Uh, I think in the end, I think the 13.8 K or 14 Ks was correct. I think the 15 K was for the people that vlog this trip. I reckon I did so many more steps uh, because I was running back and forth towards that camera. So once I put the camera down, um, I made a good headway, but yeah, we made it to the summit. So Mount Remarkable, this summit is 995 meters up and it was named by John Eyre in 1840, Mount Remarkable. He hiked uh, to the top here. This from the lofty way in which it towered above the surrounding hills, I named Mount Remarkable. This hike was actually quite interesting for me to do at this time. I'm currently reading Cheryl Strayed's Wild. And if you haven't read it, it's a book that she wrote after hiking the Pacific Crest Trail in the United States. And man, did she have some challenges. So uh, this was a challenge for me, but it kind of put things into perspective and it made me realize that things aren't as bad as they seem or your own situation isn't so tough. I think I enjoyed the hike a lot more because of that. So I said at the beginning that 
this uh, location was kind of special to me. Uh, last time I was here was actually when I was in year four. So we came here for a school camp. We camped at Melrose and we hiked Mount Remarkable. Well, I lie, I did not hike to the summit. I am sure that I didn't. I would have hiked one of the lower trails, uh, but I'm positive that my teacher and a few of the students would have done the summit hike. So I had a fantastic teacher, Mr. McNamara. He was, he was quite, um, quite the different teacher, um, challenging us in so many ways. We used to have to run laps of the Oval every week. He was quite uh, the um, sporty and adventurous teacher. So I found that quite challenging, uh, but I feel like he had a plan in mind and he was always um, looking to take the class to Mount Remarkable to hike the, to the summit. Um, so good on you kids at the time who hiked the uh, 14Ks up to the summit. Um, me, well, uh, shout out to Mr. McNara. I am here. I made it to the summit um, only 35 years later, but yeah, I did it. Um, what a special moment. Uh, this was a personal challenge for me to tick off my list. As said before, um, I'm here at the summit and there's not many views. It's covered in trees. There's a few platforms uh, to sit and have a picnic here. And I did let you know there was a decision of two paths. So the North Trail and the South Trail. So I hiked up the North Trail, which was 6.5 kilometers up. I found a map when I was 1K out and it actually seemed a lot longer to loop around. So I kind of feel like I made the right decision by going the north track. Um, I'm thinking about going south down. I've just seen a sign and south is 7.5 kilometers down. So it's a little bit longer, but I think it should be quicker. I think it only took me longer because I was filming so much. This is Mount Remarkable, aptly named. It was quite the challenge. So if you're up for it, head to Melrose and stick Mount Remarkable on your hiking list. I am almost at the end near Melrose. I've got one kilometre of the hike to go and I thought I'd stop here and give you a bit of an overview on the trail if you plan to hike Mount Remarkable. So I hiked up the north side of the trail and that was 6.5 kilometres up to the summit. The southern trail is 7.5 kilometres. So when I reached the summit, I almost considered going back along the north and I'm really glad I didn't. The north was so challenging to get up. It was super steep and majority of the trail is covered in rocks, so really unsteady. Beautiful views there on that path. The path was really narrow though, so a bit tricky at times. The southern trail was more like a normal hiking trail, so a lot more easier. If, um, if this is something to compare it to, it took me about three and a half hours, almost four hours to get up to the top on the north side. Mind you, I was filming a lot there, so that slowed me down. And here on the south trail to get down, it's been an hour and a half, so a lot quicker. Still super steep. You probably saw me with my little stick when I reached the summit. I've kept that and it's really helped along this part um, because we're going all the way down to the bottom. So is the Mount Remarkable hike for you? Well, if you want a hike with beautiful views maybe give this one a miss there were a few views along the trail at the summit no views at all so if that's what you're after maybe Mount Remarkable isn't for you this one is more of a mental challenge this was probably the hardest hike I've done to date uh, but mine was more of a personal challenge because I was here in year four I really wanted to reach the summit and I'm so glad I did so I would end this vlog with a few thank yous so I want to say thank you to Mr McNamara for the inspiration to hike this trail I want to say thank you to my boots for keeping me steady on this path thank you to Wild the book for um, challenging me to just keep going and lastly I want to thank you if you're still watching this vlog I really appreciate your support uh, but for now I'm going to head back to camp and I'll see you next time Can you tell by the way I'm looking at you this is real this is how I feel falling into you like a
Skydiving, acrophobiac, skydiving 